Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how to preview renders of uh, Timeline in Cadian Live so that you can have transitions and effects that uh, slow down the playback be displayed at fast speed. So I'm just creating a little project here. We're just using two video files and we're gonna have a transition between them. And also we will apply some effects to parts of the clips. So the first part will have a box blur, which we will increase a bit. Then we will have some charcoal. And inverse colors here and then we have a transition here so let's try just playing this back without any preview rendering uh, so this is really slow I guess maybe three frames per second we actually see from the blur part now this seems to be normal playback speed and now this effect charcoal uh, and invert again slow down and then I think we're gonna skip through the transition partially well, the frame rate dropped, at, at least. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this transition. We can use Alt and arrow key left, right to jump between cuts. And we're going to jump to the beginning and press the I key for in point and jump to the, jump to the end of this transition and press O for out point. And if you take a look at the timeline, now you see this blue, dark blue highlight at the top. Now what we can do is simply press Start Preview Render or press Shift Return. It's also available via Timeline, Timeline Preview Start Preview Render button. And now this area gets uh, a little red highlight at the top and then slowly it turns green. And here we can see the, uh, the timer for this rendering of a preview. Once it's done, we can watch this transition at normal frame rate. Actually, it's even a higher frame rate than normal video playback. So what about these two parts? They still are slow. Well, what we can do is we can again set in and out point and then we can go to this Submenu and say add preview zone and the same at the front in out and we can also do it via timeline timeline preview add preview zone and now we can just press this button again so this one will take one minute meanwhile let's take a look at manage cached data and we can see what kind of space is being used for uh, this project and other projects and we can see this one uses 28 megabytes nearly which is actually half of all the cache data so far and we can delete the cache data per project so this is really comfortable if you have uh, space issues and you can even the current project you can even decide which parts to uh, delete meanwhile in the background it continued rendering and now all parts are green well, yes, now they are green. So let's enjoy this at full frame speed. And you can see this very slow blur effect was quite fast. Faster than just normal playback. And uh, the same with this um, inverted charcoal effect. And then the transition again is very fluent. So uh, this, this is really great, but um, you have to be wary that once you add an effect, let's for example add charcoal to the second clip, then again it turns red and you have to re-render it. And also if you just uh, make small adjustments like moving, it all turns red. And 
what might be uh, annoying, depending on how you do projects, this region does not move with clips, so it's really based on time codes, and you will have to uh, unset preview zone, but uh, I just noticed I actually removed the first one, so let's add that one again. So we have to navigate manually in here and set the in point and set the out point and now we have to unset the preview zone and then adjust it. So we set the in point again at the correct time frame and set the out point again and add the preview zone. And then we do the same with this area. And actually we don't have to be that uh, exact with when we delete render zones. So we're gonna unset here. And with arrow key, alt arrow key, we're just gonna set it again. And now we can render. And there you go, it plays back at good speed again. So this feature is available since the version 1608.1. So you might not yet have it on your distro, which means you might have to install it. And I have a link to a tutorial on how to do that on Ubuntu and similar apt-get based uh, operating systems. So write a comment and tell me how well this uh, feature works out for you. Check out my other Kdn Live tutorials, like and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Have fun editing, ciao!